Okay, we're going to start off by following the assembly guide order, which begins by showing how to put the rotor head together. As you can see, uh, it, the parts come largely assembled out of the box. This is the fly barless rotor head. This is the swash plate, came fully put together. The control rods, the upper control rods, were already built up. Some things I want to show you. This main shaft is a 10 millimeter main shaft, but the rotor head has an insert in it. It's actually a 12 millimeter hole. So I, I suspect this rotor head could be used on other, other helicopters that had 12 millimeter uh, main shafts. But this insert lets it work with the, uh, the radical main shaft. Second off, the control rods that came in my kit were pre-assembled, but they were for the fly bar head. They're too long. Uh, the kit came with this package of, of rods, which are shorter, and a, uh, an extension for the elevator arm, uh, which we'll talk about later. So these rods had to be made up to different lengths. First thing you actually put together is to insert the main shaft into the rotor head. There's two holes in the main shaft. The one that's closest to the end is the one that's going to go into the rotor head. Putting these parts together is pretty straightforward. Once the shaft goes in, you put the 4 millimeter bolt through the hole, you align the, the insert, put the lock nut on the other side, get that good and tight. There's two clamp bolts on each side. Take the bolt out, put some thread lock on them, tighten these down. You don't have to kill them, just get them tight. One thing to note, before you put the main shaft in, make sure the swash plate followers are in the right position because these won't actually go by the main shaft once you've got it in. So uh, if you don't do that, you'll have to take them back out. The swash plate uh, has a carbon plate on the bottom of it. This is a bearing retainer piece. It's common on several helicopters. It's a nice touch. Simply slips over the main shaft like so and then we're going to hook up the links. Snapping the links on is pretty traditional. The swash plate followers snap onto opposite balls on the inner swash plate and then the upper control rods snap onto the remaining ball on the uh, inner swash plate and up to the ball on the blade arm on each of the two blade arms. The links are actually directional if you look closely at this link, you'll see an, a ring on one side of it. It's not on the other side. The ring actually goes uh, against the ball or on the ball. The other side of the, of the link is not as large, and it's, it's really virtually impossible to push that over the ball. So it goes on in that direction. Simply snap them on, and with that, uh, the rotor head is ready to go. We're going to set this aside. We'll use it in a later step.